Good day everyone, you're watching Raytube Fixes. On today's video, I'm going to talk about how to download iTunes on Windows 10 machine. Now, in case if you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Now, in order to download iTunes on your Windows machine, you will have to open a browser. You can download iTunes on any of the browser, uh, probably uh, Chrome, Safari or Internet Explorer, but I prefer to download it on uh, my using Google Chrome. So you will have to go to google.com. Once you go to google.com, you will have to go ahead and type iTunes. Once you click on this iTunes, um, it will take you to the Apple website. I will also mention the download link uh, for 32-bit and 64-bit in the video description. Now, once you are on this website, you have two options here. You can download iTunes uh, directly from the Microsoft Store or you can download uh, the setup directly from the Apple website. Now, uh, let's take you to uh, this option here, iTunes for Windows. Get it from Microsoft. Once, If you click on this, it will take you to the um, Windows Microsoft Store website. You can to download it from the Microsoft uh, Store website. You can click on Get option here. It will uh, start downloading uh, iTunes on your Windows machine. I prefer to uh, download the .exe file. For that, you will have to scroll, go back to the iTunes website, Apple website, scroll down and you have an option here which says looking for other version, Mac OS or Windows. Since I'm using Windows, I'm going to select Windows. Now here's a trick here. You have an option which says Windows Store. You will not be able to find the download link directly. For that, you will have to scroll up back to the page and you will see an option which says iTunes for Windows. If you're using 64-bit Windows, you can select download now 64 bit if you're using 32 bit you can click on this link here however i will mention both the links in the video description now that i'm using windows 64 bit i'm going to sl uh, click on uh, the option which says download 64 bit so it will start downloading the setup for your windows 64 bit itunes now once the download is complete you should be able to run the setup now you will be able to see the setup uh, the exe file downloading at the bottom left corner of the screen so it's going to take about 20 to 20 25 seconds and it, the download also depends on the speed of your internet um, so let's wait for a while now once the download is complete um, you can run the setup so it's going to take about seven seconds Okay, uh, so if you look at the screen, the download is complete. You will see a setup file which says iTunes 64 setup.exe since I've downloaded 64 bit iTunes. So I'm going to double click on that particular file. You will get a prompt. So since it is from the genuine uh, Apple's uh, website, uh, you can trust this installation. I'm going to click on uh, the option which says install anyway. In your case, you may not get this option. You, you might get uh, the direct option to run the setup. I'm going to click on install anyway. And in case if you get a user access control prompt, um, you, can, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. So now it is extracting the setup for iTunes on my Windows 10 machine. It's running the setup. And on this page, you will have to click on Next. And here you have a couple of options, which says add iTunes shortcut on my desktop, add use iTunes as a default player, automatically update iTunes. So in case if you want these options to be checked, you can check. Otherwise, you have an option to uncheck this option. In my case, I'm going to uncheck these options. And you can also select the default iTunes language and click on install. So here you might get a user access control prompt. You may click on yes or continue on the screen. So it will start installing iTunes on your Windows 10 machine. Now, the first process, what it will do is it will uh, try checking for the system requirement. It's going to check if your iTunes is compatible on your Windows or not. So based on the um, system requirement, it will start the installation. It is validating the install. So even the installation depends on the speed of your computer. If you, uh, based on that, it might take about uh, five to ten minutes, um, or or it might take about maximum uh, fifteen minutes to complete the installation process. So let's wait for a while till the um, the installation is completed. 
Now that uh, if you look at the screen, it says iTunes has been successfully installed on the computer. Um, I'm going to check the box which says open iTunes after the installer exists. And I'm going to click on finish. So uh, this is how you can go ahead and install iTunes on the uh, Windows machine. When you open iTunes for the first time, you will see a user license agreement. You may go through the user license agreement and then click on agree. And uh, once you click on agree, uh, you should be able to see iTunes uh, in completely installed on your uh, Windows 10 machine. Now, this is how you can go ahead and install iTunes. I hope you like this video. In case if you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button. And um, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. In case if you have any difficulties in installing iTunes, please leave a message in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible resolution. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.